Good evening, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets at end of today's trading, the Friday, the 3rd of March 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signaler, signals and market updates from uh, leading providers at www.tradesignaler.com. Uh, or alternatively, you can uh, visit the uh, Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now we certainly have fireworks after hours with regards to uh, Miss Yellen. Uh, certainly uh, going ahead with a hawkish stance, a uh, short hawkish stance, certainly embracing it, but the dollar certainly is selling off, and I'll explain shortly why. Okay, in terms of uh, the uh, European markets, the FTSE closes down, 7374. Uh, the DAX certainly closes down as well at 12030 on the back of Deutsche Bank concerns and uh, potential uh, need for raising more capital. Certainly very bearish stories there. Uh, in terms of the French CAC, up 30 points on the back of expectations that uh, Mr. Philon or Mr. Philon certainly will uh, be looking to uh, exit, and therefore it uh, certainly uh, allows Macron to, uh, and also Mr. Juppé now as well, certainly potentially beating uh, Miss Le Pen and uh, negating Miss Le Pen altogether. Although I think that really is premature. Okay, the uh, uncertainty remains. We already know what happened with uh, Brexit. Okay, and the uncertainty that uh, arose from there. You already know the uh, situation with Mr. Trump and the uh, the margin for error in terms of the polls. So the polls certainly uh, do get it wrong, okay? And because they get it wrong, it certainly is considered to be uh, a very bearish. So just bear that in mind, okay? From my perspective, you should not negate any uncertainty. Uh, why would you want to invest in France? Why would you buy the French CAC when you can certainly go ahead and buy the DAX and the Euro stocks and have less risk? Okay, so just bear that in mind, okay? From my understanding, or alternatively, buy U.S. equities. U.S. equities constantly are ripping higher to new highs. Why would you want to uh, park your uh, money in uh, into the French CAC? If anything, it should be a a mass exodus, okay, uh, a risk aversion, total exit out of uh, uh, any assets in terms of uh, with any any French name on there due to the uh, situation with Miss Le Pen uh, embracing the uh, the actual franc and uh, wanting to uh, renege on her debt. So these are all situations. These are all scenarios that are are, are certainly evident, certainly very clear. And one needs to uh, refrain from be careful in terms of of uh, of, of your uh, portfolio okay so again looking for risk aversion from france the uncertainty still remains and i'll go into the technical uh, obviously reasons as well in terms of uh, fundamentals let's just quickly go uh, do a recap for today uh, we started off with chinese data certainly missing the mark again risk off hence the reason why asian markets were down overnight the Nikkei was certainly down as well german retail sales missed the mark again minus 0.8 percent month on month certainly negative although we did have some upbeat news from spain pmis from spain certainly beating okay pmis from italy certainly beating as well but same scenario again with regards to france given le pen the uncertainty and the fear the pmi and the services certainly both uh, failing to to beat in terms of the german dac certainly came in in line nothing spectacular there okay uh, in terms of italy's uh, gdp actually came in slightly weaker year on year uh, the PMIs out of Europe certainly came in on the weaker side. Uh, UK PMI services certainly came in uh, very, very weak. Okay, Again, indicating concerns with regards to a Brexit going forward, given the fact that we're going to trigger on March the 15th. Again, uncertainty there. Also with the Scottish referendum now, drumbeats certainly rolling there for a second referendum. Again, risk aversion. So, for my situation, if you look, do a pest analysis... And those of you that have done business studies will understand if you do a uh, political, economical, social and technological or technical even, OK, you can uh, certainly uh, deduce that you are into risk aversion. Stock markets, global markets, global equities, certainly into a about of risk aversion. From my perspective, if I was a fund manager, I certainly would have multiple short opportunities uh, waiting there uh, to uh, to be taken advantage of. OK, in terms of retail sales out of Europe, again, missing the mark. So you can see a recurring theme being uh, being uh, uh, orchestrated here with regards to uh, economic data certainly uh, missing uh, on the downside again indicating risk aversion but these equity markets certainly remain stellar uh, and uh, miss yellen which already has and will certainly shake things up in terms of the uh, fed speakers okay in terms of fed speakers all uh, with the same uh, a tune okay and that tune is uh, one of a uh, hockey stance monetary tightening obviously uh, tapering as well and uh, reducing accommodation from the stock market so miss yellen certainly beating the drums of the uh, hawkish tune 
uh, and therefore indicating risk aversion for global equities, especially emerging markets, okay, and commodities too. Okay, so again, that certainly is a the theme uh, of uh, uh, bearish fundamentals. Let's look at the actual technicals now. So the German DAX on the weekly chart, you can see that we're into horizontal resistance. We've been holding that for, for some time now, certainly hitting that as well. Daily chart, the German DAX at the moment is consolidating. Okay, certainly consolidating, but not actually continuing the, the rally. Again, certainly a cause for concern. 60-minute chart, the German DAX, we failed to play out with regards to a uh, bull flag scenario potentially testing that 12080 on the back of Deutsche Bank concerns. So given the fact that Deutsche Bank now wants to start to raise capital again, it certainly does uh, get your um, get, get, gets the alarm bells ringing, okay? If it is uh, given the stock market rally as well, given the equity markets are up by 3 trillion now according to Trump, okay? Why would you want to raise capital? Again, if your bottom, your portfolio is is, is is certainly it should have been uh, always expect to have been uh, become more healthier with this rally in global equities and yet you need more capital that certainly isn't um isn't good news okay that's all i can say 10 minute chart uh, of the german dax you certainly held that double bottom here at 12,000 bounced uh, you obviously close the gap above at 12050 as well and from my perspective really the target is the gap below at 11800 that really is your target Okay, from my understanding, especially given the fact that the MDAX is certainly uh, making a lower high, held double top as well, indicating weakness on the MDAX. Tech all share as well, double top, indicating weakness, especially with the NASDAQ, indicating weakness as well. Okay, let's move on to the French CAC now. French CAC, from my understanding, certainly baffled as to the move in the French CAC today, especially given the fact that uh, we had uh, Miss Le Pen. Uh, potentially gaining ground and still uh, remains uh, in the uh, in the fore in in the background. Okay, again, multiple multiple arguments here to short the French cap from my understanding. Okay, based on my understanding of fundamentals, I've been wrong so far. Okay, so I certainly accept that. Certainly accept that that's part of trading. Okay, you sometimes you get it right, sometimes you get it wrong. It's all part of uh, part and parcel. Okay, so one second. Okay. Right. In terms of the uh, the actual French CAC on the weekly, you can see we're into resistance. The daily, the bull flag certainly has played out. We have a rally on the euro now above 1.06. Again, that's certainly going to hurt equities. A stronger euro certainly does uh, indicate risk aversion. Okay. The 60-minute chart, you can see we've surpassed pivot R3 resistance, certainly into the overbought territory, and certainly looking to reverse. Okay. 10-minute chart certainly did uh, actually come into exhaustion here. Uh, potential 5,000 psychological level, okay. Uh, in terms of the unfill gap, we have at uh, 4,860, that's the one. Okay, so we're certainly looking at a double top at 5,000. So again, looking for resistance there. Okay, uh, you have resistance here at uh, 4,972. So watch out for that resistance zone, two resistance zones. So again, uh, you have uh, 5,000, and then if we retrace, you look at 4,970, and then obviously you have support 4,950. But given the fact that the euro certainly has spiked above 1.06, certainly looking for risk aversion to kick in here, okay? Again, it's all about that unfilled gap below, okay, from my understanding. Certainly no reason for the French count from fundamentally speaking, especially given the fact that Miss Yellen has uh, committed to three rate hikes now. Everything remains hawkish. Equity market models have factored that in. Okay, so again, indicating risk aversion to me. Okay, now in terms of the FTSE 100, the weekly chart certainly is a breakout, but is it really a breakout, especially with the March 15th uh, deadline? It certainly sounds, smells fishy to me, that's all I can say. Daily chart, <clears throat> certainly have broken out. We are remaining above that breakout, but from my understanding, it certainly seems like we need to consolidate back to 7.310, especially with three or eight hikes now and uh, total lack of details in terms of fiscal policy from Mr. Trump. So you are looking at a potential bear flag scenario here, okay, especially given the fact that we had weaker economic data today as well. GBP USD potentially bottoming out too. If I bring up the chart of GBP USD, given the fact that this has certainly been trading inverse to the GBP USD, uh, really it's it's all about uh, the uh, the actual uh, sterling trade, and that certainly isn't healthy. When the market really is moving based purely on sterling, that certainly isn't a market that's built on strong fundamentals, okay? So you can certainly see a bottoming tail here on sterling. GBP USD certainly looking to potentially bounce. And as we all know, 
a rally in sterling equals a sell-off in the FTSE. So as you can see, those two indices or those two variables have become intertwined, and therefore you are looking for a retracement back to 7320 on the FTSE. So watch out below. That's really all I can say in terms of the FTSE 100. Uh, the 10 minute chart, let's quickly go to the 10 minute chart. Okay, you certainly close the gap or you actually hit the gap fill at uh, 7381 and obviously looking to retrace now and looking to potentially flush back down to 7350. That's my understanding with the unfilled gaps that still remains open at 7260. So watch out below. In terms of Euro stocks, again, this is another index that's baffled me thus far. Uh, impressive, impressive strength. That's all I can say. Uh, you are looking at resistance though at 3.5 or 3.500 on the weekly chart. Other than that, I can't really see anything at all. So you have to respect it from a technical perspective. It certainly is is pushing higher. But given the fact that the uh, German DAX and the French CAC are certainly stalling, you are looking at resistance. Now you have left an unfilled gap below. So again, the unfilled gap certainly remains open and uh, mm -hmm. certainly remains a key to in terms of uh, potentially closing as well. So watch out for that. Uh, again, market remains vulnerable. 10 minute chart. Looking at a 10 minute chart now of the uh, the actual uh, euro stocks at the moment, uh, you have uh, a potential in terms of support. We have support here if we flush from the 3390 and then you have support down here as well at 3370. So watch out for those two zones if we do continue to flush higher, flush lower, sorry, on the back of a stronger euro. OK, so just bear that in mind, especially given the fact that inflation rates are rising. Uh, retail sales certainly came in weaker. Uh, Mr. Draghi forced a taper. That certainly doesn't bode well for European equities, okay? Especially the uncertainty and the fear and so on and so forth. So again, multiple arguments for it to be flushed on the downside, okay? Okay, so uh, that certainly is your Sunday situation. That's a scenario at present with regards to the uh, the euro stocks. So we'll keep an eye on, out on there in terms of the next market move. So I think that is a good summation. My understanding really is risk aversion. That's my understanding. Certainly will stick with my bearish bias, especially given the fact that we have lack of uh, fiscal stimulus details. We have uh, a Fed that is extremely hawkish now. Certainly doesn't uh, look abode well going forward. That's my understanding. That's my interpretation based on not just technicals, but into uh, fundamentals and obviously into market analysis as well. So watch out below. That's all I can say. On that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye. Now.